having generated our pivot table, which was in turn generated from importing critical files through the use of Power Query and the management of relationships through Power Pivot with the Manage tool as indicated above here, up here. What we are going to do now is we're going to generate a map. One of the things that I have found is critical is that one labels the fields correctly. So country or province would be important. Having changed that label to province, what we now do is we select that area there, exclude the grand total, and we copy it and paste it as a value over here. It's a necessary thing in order to trick Excel into drawing its data from here, but once we created the map, we can revert back to the pivot table as a source. It's just a quirk in Excel. So, insert, maps, and we should be able to pick up all the provinces here. There we go, we've picked up all the provinces, and they are color-coded according to the amount of sales made. Let's just tweak some of the settings. There we go. Right, looking pretty good. Map generated by Bing. I think the other one is generated by Google, I'm not sure. If we click on the inside here and right click and choose select data, we can go back here and identify that as the data source. And then we can get rid of these two columns over here. Now it's possible to generate a slicer before you activate the slices. I'm going to go by type of bike and name of salesperson. See, I can draw from both tables simply because they are related. So two slices over here. Let's put them on this side. I'll put one on that side and one down here. Reduce its size over here. So the amount of mountain bikes sold, the revenue generated with the mountain bikes. If I were to click that, it would then change road bikes. Notice the change. Jennifer road bikes. All right, she's only sold in the Northwest province. Multiple selection, Jennifer and Judy. Okay, right over there. Okay, with the range of sales up there. And of course, Sipo over there as well. All right, notice it all changes. Okay, remove the selection remove the selection over there. Okay. And that has generated a mini dashboard plus a reflection on the map of the amount of sales that have been made. 